Um, I'm going to be working on um, a couple of game situations. So I'm going to start off with something um, just that builds the whole idea of working hard together before the session actually starts. So just working as a group, hunting in packs, following in the ball, keeping possession, throwing it back to someone. So obviously I would hope that, and I know that you would have the good sense to be able to improvise what's been shown to suit your own needs from six all the way up to senior inter county. Um, this would be a regular drill that we did with Waterford. Um, did us good sometimes, didn't do us good other times. Um, but it, it builds the whole mentality of just hunting in packs, working together. Um, and the lads are obviously I'll have them up and running at it already, so we're going to have a go at it. Um, just to give you a broad idea, it'll be just basically groups of three or four working on a couple of passes to give it to the outside guy, they get it back, they go randomly to another place. They make sure that they, if they're going to another place, there's good body language. Sometimes then I get a fella to go lazy, it's thrown back to him, he'll throw it over the bar. Sometimes they go to the outside goal, they have a shot at the goal, a defender will meet him. They're all the things that perhaps we won't get a chance to do today. I'm going to do a couple of max situations then in terms of shapes that you might work on in a game, very conventional shapes, particularly with the full forward. And again, that will be slow. Um, and what I'll do is I'll go to a drill that would be good for teaching that shape, if you like, and then go into the actual game situation. So if, I'm, if the boys are standing around, 18 or 20 will be standing around, there'll be six or eight coming here to actually show what we've done in the match situation. So obviously you can make the session to suit yourself over those 30 minutes. So we're working on three shapes and one puck out and the group situation. So five things to do in, um, in 30 minutes. So, so boys in the green cones on the outside are just stationary. Boys in the goals are stationary as well. So we're looking for a couple of passes at full pace and getting possession back, okay? On the whistle, boys. Let's go, come on, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go, good. Great stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Come on, come straight down the middle as well. Don't be afraid to come straight down the middle. Good. Brilliant stuff, boys, brilliant stuff. And getting it back, good. Good lads, great stuff, boys, great stuff. Okay, next version of that is, you have your group of four, Obviously, if I had the time, I'd switch in the guys that are stationary. You don't have today. You have your group of four. Three go all the way to this chap. One gets lazy, decides to go 25 or 30 yards away. If you have any guy who looks a handy, one throw him back to him. In a club situation, you know, a fella like myself that's a bit overweight, he likes a handy one, throw him back to him and over the bar. So one, one fella decides to get lazy. When the boys go, they give a hurry pass to the fellow who gets lazy. Two or three go with him and another fella gets lazy, all right? In a match situation, normally we get the guy to throw the ball over the bar when he gets it back to him, in a normal training situation. So let's have a go at it, guys. Let's go, come on, keep the pace up. Come on, you're walking, lads, no walking. Good, no walking, boys. No walking, no walking, good lads. Great stuff, great stuff. Who's getting it, who's getting it? 20-yard pass, lovely, lovely. Good stuff. Lovely, boys, little pass, little pass. Little pass, good. Good lads, good stuff, good stuff. Little pass, in through the crowd. Great pass there, well done. Great pass. Come on again, boys. Good, good. Okay, get the gist of that, that's number two. I would normally run this for about 16 minutes with about five different variations. This time we're back to the first one. When the boys hear the first whistle, when they hear a double whistle, when they hear the double whistle, they go to the goal that they were allocated, have a shot, and then come back to their bunch of balls, get a ball, and start doing what they're supposed to do in here again. Okay? So, until you hear the double whistle, you're just back to the first one you were doing, guys, okay? Off you go, good stuff, good stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't be walking there, don't be walking. Good. Great stuff, boys, great stuff. Ah, magic, lads, magic. On the double whistle, we're going to the goal you're told to go to. Don't slow down the pace now, don't slow down the pace on the double whistle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, go, go, go. Where are you going, boys? Come on, good stuff. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Go, go, go. Get a shot away. Get a shot away now. And get your other ball. Get your other ball. Get your other ball. Don't be looking at your work. Come on, go again. Go again. In here again. Good. Good. This time I want you to throw it over the bar on the double whistle. On the double whistle over the bar. On the double whistle over the bar, whoever has it. Come on, throw it over, throw it over. Be quicker, be quicker on the strike, good lads. Back and get a ball, don't be admiring your work. Back and get a ball. Good stuff, no walking. No walking, lads. One rule in a session, no walking. Good. Good stuff, boys, good stuff. It's going over the bar on a double whistle. Over the bar, over the bar. 
Great stuff. Okay, up here, everybody. A good deviation on that is to put the tackle bags on the outside. Have your normal portable goals on the outside and have a defender coming against you. And it's real, it's real. Because so sometimes a fella puts his head up in a championship match, can't see where he's going, and he needs to ping one 20 yards into a fella's hand. It's a good conditioning drill as well. Winter drill in terms of getting a good bit of running in.